This faceless YouTube channel gets millions of views and makes around $192,000 a month just by creating extremely simple YouTube shorts. They use AI to create these videos specifically targeting the enormous Marvel audience. Most of their videos have millions of views and here's one of their videos. So, we'll use three AI tools to make these videos for free and quickly. It's super easy and after watching this video, you'll definitely want to start your own faceless channel. As you can see, our competition is getting millions of views by creating these simple videos. They transform our main character into various things like old folks, cars, animals, and more, and they put the original Marvel character as well, and it's all created by AI. But here's what we'll do. We'll add text and split into three parts. It'll go like this, the name of the character, and then the first part hooks the reader, making them curious about the second. And to do this, we will need the first tool ChatGPT. To access ChatGPT, simply sign up for an account. When you log in, you'll see a screen that looks like this. So here's the deal. I'll share the prompt right under this video. It's already set up to give us exactly what we need. I'll just copy and paste that prompt and then break it down for you. In this format, we'll start by giving ChatGPT an example and ask it to use that format to drop a few quick and relatable quotes out of Marvel character. With this prompt, we've got it all covered. The number of quotes, the topic, a Marvel character, the desired format language, and tone. We'll even throw in some examples for chat GPT to work with. Now once you press enter, the AI gives you the results. As you can see, it organizes them like a table. The superhero's name goes in the first column, the first part of the sentence in the second, and it continues with the second part in the third column. It does this in such an easy way that we can copy and paste it into our next tool. Using this method, you can generate more quotes by just asking ChatGPT for another set of 10 quotes without repeats, and it'll deliver fresh ones. Now let's move on to our second tool for generating images, which is Leonardo AI. You can also use Midjourney, but in this video, I'll go with Leonardo because it gives us some mind-blowing pictures. Our goal now is to create superheroes with an unusual look. Take Captain America, for example. We can make him look like a tiger, but we'll also generate an original look for them. In the prompt field, just type in Captain America as a tiger, and it'll generate an image of Captain America looking like a tiger. Then input Captain America full body or just Captain America to get the original hero image from Leonardo. We'll download these images and we need to repeat this process for our other heroes organizing the images into a single folder. The next thing we need to do is go to photo room where we need to remove the background but only for the original hero images. We can do this in photo room by simply dragging and dropping the images one by one and clicking download. Now that this is done, the next step is to go to our last tool, which is canva.com. So now we're at Canva. You can either click the link in the description or just type canva.com in your browser. Sign up for a free account if you haven't already, and once you're logged in, you'll see this screen. Now what we'll do is click the search bar in the middle and type YouTube Shorts. Then select the YouTube Shorts template, and then choose Create a Blank Template, and you'll have a brand new template ready to use. We'll make a few adjustments to prepare this template. So, here's the plan. We're going to upload our images and add text placeholders for our topic, first part, and second part. Then, we'll import our data. First, let's upload the images by simply dragging and dropping. Now look for the picture with our superhero as an animal. Click on it and drag it to the edge of the editor window. This will fill the entire background just like you see now. It's applied as a background video and now we need to tidy it up for adding text. We'll make it about six seconds long as we only need a five to six second video. So we'll click down on the video and then go up here and click the time icon and adjust it to six seconds. Next, click on the image and choose animate. On the left side, scroll down and pick photo zoom to add animation to the image. Now drag the image with the original superhero down here. Right click select show timing and adjust it to three seconds since we want the original superhero to appear in the last three seconds. We'll also animate this image. So go to animate on the left side, scroll down and choose tumble. Now this image is animated too. Now let's add our text before connecting it to our data for full automation. So go to text 
and simply drag in any of these options. We'll make some adjustments to it. This will be our first piece of text, which will serve as the topic. So I'm just gonna replace this text with the word topic and move it to the top. To style it, double click to select everything. I'm gonna click the color at the top here to change it to white, and I'm also gonna add a background. So click on effects, then background. By default, it's usually black, but if not, you can select black as the background color. Now, our topic text is ready. Next, let's change the font. I'm gonna try this one. It looks good. Feel free to choose any font you like. There are plenty to choose from. Now duplicate this and drag it down. This will be our first part text. Double click and replace the text with first part. Go to effects again and click none to remove the background, but add an outline for better readability. Choose black for the outline color and increase the thickness to around 85. This makes it much easier to read. Now, there is a second part. What we'll do is click on the first part's text and hit duplicate. Drag it down so we have visibility when we're going to work on it because we're going to connect the data for automation. But eventually, we're gonna put it back in the same place where it's the first part and I'll show you. That in a moment. But there's one more thing for both of these text sets. They might be longer than the topic. The text in the first part and second part can vary in length depending on what ChatGPT provides. To manage this, let's adjust the edges of these purple boxes for first part and second part text. Actually, let's change the first part to second part to avoid confusion. Click and drag these edges to line up with the purple outline that surrounds the entire video. This ensures the text stays within those lines, avoiding spillage over the video's edge, making it unreadable. Get this one to the edge too. Now our template is almost ready for data connection. Lastly, we don't want both text sets to appear simultaneously. Part 1's the hook, part 2's the punchline. We need to adjust the timing so they don't overlap. To achieve that, right click on the first part, then select show timing. This gives us a timeline view at the bottom, allowing us to drag the edges to determine when to display the first and second parts of the text. For a 6 second video, I typically prefer most of it to showcase the first part, with a shorter portion dedicated to the second part. This approach encourages viewers to watch the video multiple times for a better understanding, boosting overall retention and watch rates, and your videos can reach a wider audience. For first part, let's keep it at three and a half seconds. You can adjust this to four or five seconds as you prefer, but three and a half works well. Apply the same timing strategy to second part. Click on second part to access the timing controls and set it to appear at two and a half seconds. Once you've done this, the first part will display first, followed by the second part. And if we press the play button, first part displays first, then cuts to second part. Now let's move on to connecting our text. To do this, we'll use Canvas Bulk Create Tool. So to access that, we click apps in the bottom left and you can see it's right here, Bulk Create. When you click on it, it's gonna ask you to enter all your data. This is why we asked ChatGPT to provide text in a table format, making it easy to copy and paste. It recognizes that this is the first set of text to connect followed by the second and third sets. Let's go ahead and copy this text and head back to Canva and click enter data manually. From there, click on the first column in the top left and paste in all our text. It's already formatted correctly, identifying topics, the first part and the second part. Click done and you're good to go. Now, it's gonna ask you to link this to specific parts in your editor so it knows where to display the info. Let's right click on topics, then connect data, topic, and connect it. You'll notice squiggly lines around it, which means it's linked. Do the same for first part and second part. Now that it's connected, which is where the squiggly lines come in. Drag the second part back over the first part because we want both sets of text to display. We want one for 3.5 seconds and the other for the last 2.5 seconds. Next, hit continue and it will generate all 10 videos. Click generate to create these videos. Now, you can see our 10 videos. If you hit play, it shows the first part, then the second part, and so on for all of them. All that's left is to change the images for each video. I did 10, but you can generate as many as you want, like 30, 40, or 50 videos. So now if I'm ready to export these, I just go to share and then click download. We've achieved all this using AI and a touch of automation to streamline the process. 
Repeat as needed to get thousands of videos ready for your AI YouTube channel. That's pretty much how you create thousands of YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, Facebook reels, and TikToks using AI and a bit of automation. No need for fancy video editing skills or a professional editor. You can start earning over $13,000 a month through ad revenue, YouTube monetization, and sponsorships. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This way, we'll keep making more videos just like this.